Let us now discuss the second model from blood relations which is generally a 3 marks question in bank exams. In this model the relationship between two persons is given in terms of symbols and then from the given equation we need to find out the relationship between the two extreme persons. Let's look at the example here. The question here is P by Q means P is father of Q. P plus Q means P is mother of Q. P minus Q means P is brother of Q and P star Q means P is sister of Q. So very clearly we can understand that whenever we find a symbol of by or division that has to be taken as father. Similarly plus should be taken as mother. The symbol of minus is taken as brother and into should be taken as sister. So with the help of these given notations we need to find out the relationship between A and D in the given equation. The conventional way of solving these type of questions is construction of family tree which we have already discussed in the previous model. So you can apply that and get the answer but as of now let us understand the smart way of solving the problem which can lead you to the correct answer in just a few seconds. If you remember I have told you to take care of the gender and the generation gap between the two persons. So let us try to use these two points in solving such questions. The first point is we need to concentrate on the gender of the given person and the second point is the generation gap between the two persons. So let us try to work on these two points and try to eliminate the wrong answers. If we take the relationship between A and B we see here A plus B and from the given notation we know that plus means mother. So very clearly A is the mother of B. If A is the mother of B we can say that the gender of A is female and the generation gap between A and B should be 1. Since A is the mother of B she is in the higher level of B. So the gap between A and B should be 1. Once we know that A is a female person we can eliminate some of the options. We know that we have to find out the relationship between A and D that is A is D's dash. So the relationship here should be representing a female person and very clearly option 2 is grandfather. So that cannot be the answer because A is a female person. Option 4 here is father even that cannot be the answer. So the possible answers are either sister or grandmother why because both these options denote a female person. Let us now continue and find out the overall generation gap to come to the correct answer. Moving on to the next set of persons here B by C. We know that by means father. So we can say that B is the father of C. Once we know B is father of C the gender of B is male and again the generation gap between B and C is 1. C minus D. C minus D means C is the brother of D. So we can say that C is a male person as he is the brother of D and the generation gap between C and D should be taken as 0 because they belong to the same generation as their siblings. The gender of D cannot be determined here because there is no information given regarding that. Now if we try to find out the overall generation gap we see here that the total generation gap is 1 plus 1 plus 0 that is equal to so very clearly between the two persons A and D the generation gap should be 2 and A is a female person. So with the help of these two points that is the generation gap between A and D should be 2 and the gender of A should be female. Let us try to find out what can be the exact answer. If you look at option number 1 the relationship given is sister. Now if A is the sister of D the generation gap between A and D will become 0. But since we know that the generation gap is 2, this answer can be eliminated. Now, as already 3 options are eliminated, the only choice which we have here is grandmother or none of these. Now, from the given equation, we know that the generation gap between A and D is 2 and A is a female person. So, the probable relationship between A and D can that be of a grandmother or it can also be a grand aunt. Grand aunt is nothing but sister of grandmother. Now if you are ready to take a risk or if you are running short of time, I suggest you directly go for option number 3 grandmother. Why? Because that is one of the most appropriate answers. But if you are not ready to take a risk, you can construct a family tree and establish the correct relationship. So friends, we can say that grandmother can be the correct answer. Otherwise, you can construct a family tree as we have discussed in the previous model and justify the answer. Let us now take the second example from model 2. 
as you can see here the information is same that we have already discussed and the question is which of the following shows that a is the aunt of e so this is quite opposite to what we have discussed in example one in example one the equation was given and the relationship was to be established but in example two here if you observe the relationship is already specified that a is the aunt of e and we need to find out which of the given equations are correct which represents a is aunt of e now again as i've already told you in example one to solve these type of questions generally people follow the conventional method of constructing a family tree but that is going to take a lot of time in this case what we can do here again is find out the generation gap and the gender in all the given equations and whichever equation satisfies the relationship here that can be taken as a correct answer now if you observe here we know that a is the aunt of e so very clearly a is a female person and since a is the aunt of e the generation gap between a and e should be one so let us try to work out on these two points for each of the given equations whichever satisfies them that can be taken as a correct answer if you look at the first option we know that the relationship between a and b is represented with a minus symbol now from the given information we know that minus means brother so we can say that a is the brother of b now since a is the brother of b it is clear that a should be a male person and here itself we can say that option number one cannot be the answer since the required gender for a is female let us look at option two a star b from a star b we know that the relationship should be that of a sister so very clearly a is a female person as she is the sister of b and since a and b are siblings the generation gap between them should be zero b by c by means father so b is the father of c that means b is a male person and the generation gap between b and c is one again c star d star means sister so we can say that c is the sister of d so which shows c is a female person and the generation gap between c and d is zero since they are in the same generation and the last part here is d minus e minus means brother so we can say that d is the brother of e which shows d is a male person and the generation gap between these two persons is again zero so if we try to find out the overall generation gap from a to e we can see that the total is equal to one hence this option satisfies both the conditions that is a's gender is female and the overall generation gap between a and e is equal to one so this can be the correct answer but before we mark this as the answer we also need to verify the remaining options why because with a generation gap of one and the gender of female there are different types of relationships possible a can be aunt of e a can be mother of e a can be mother in law of e and so on so before we mark this as the answer we should verify the remaining two options so let us look at option number 3 now a by b by means father so very clearly a is the father of b so the gender of a is male and the generation gap is 1 but since the gender of a is male option 3 cannot be the answer as we want a to be a female person let us move to option 4 a plus b plus means mother so a is a female person and the generation gap between a and b is 1 since a is the mother of b b minus c minus means brother so b is the brother of c so b is a male person and the generation gap between b and c is 0 the third relationship here is c star d star means sister so very clearly c is the sister of d so c is a female person and the generation gap is 0 and the last part here is d by e d by e means d is the father of e so very clearly d is the father of e so d should be a male person and the generation gap between d and e should be 1 now like if we try to observe here a is a female person which satisfies the first condition but the overall generation gap from a to e in this case is 2 and hence this cannot be the correct answer since the required gap between a and e's generation should be 1 so we can say that option 4 is not the answer now already first option third option and fourth option have been eliminated only option 2 and option 5 is left out friends as you can see here already we have eliminated three of the options 
only option 2 and option 5 are left out and any of these two options can be the correct answer. But in case if you are running short of time, you better mark option 2 as the answer and move to the next question without wasting any time further on this question. But if you want to verify your answer, you can construct the family tree for equation 2 and see if A is the aunt of E or not. Let us try to construct the family tree and check whether this is the correct relationship or not. A star B, star means sister. So we can say that A is the sister of B. So this is the relationship between A and B. B by C, by means father. So B is the father of C. So very clearly B is a father. So B is a male person and he is the father of C. So C can be taken here. The next set here is C star D. C star means C is the sister of B. So very clearly C is a female person and C is the sister of D. So we can say C is the sister of D. And the last set here is D minus E. Minus means brother. So D is the brother of E. So D is a male person and he is the brother of E. E's gender anyway cannot be determined. So this is the family tree for option number 2 which is left out. Now from this if we try to establish the relationship between A and D we can see that all these three persons that is E, D and C are siblings. That means they are the children of the same parent. So E's brother is D, D's sister is C and C's father is B. If C's father is B it is very clear that E's father is also B. So E's father is B since all these three persons are siblings. So E's father's sister is A. So we can say that A is the sister of E's father. Sister of E's father is nothing but E's aunt. So very clearly A is the aunt of E. And that is the given question. So we can say that option 2 is the correct answer. Remember if you try to construct such a family tree for all the given options it is going to take a long time. So first eliminate the wrong answers with the help of gender and generation gap and then only for the left out options you can construct the tree and check whether the given answer is correct or not.